Well, thanks for joining us today in what we're calling Terra Nova One Car Park. But we haven't come here to see the car park. We have come to see what's just behind me there, which you cannot see, Europe's largest open cast mine, believe it or not. Now, we've seen some big things in this time, but I think this is the biggest thing we have ever seen. And the excitement doesn't stop there. But anyway, let's take a walk over to the edge of this mine and we can check what's inside. So like I said, we're in the, a viewing platform area called Terra Nova 1. We're around about 20 mile west of Cologne and we're at the Ambach open cast mine. The mine is actually covering 100 square kilometers. So it's a massive, massive area. And like I said, the mine itself is impressive, but what's more impressive is the machines that work there. And this is just one or part of a wheel that is used for actually removing the soil. So these wheels are 21 meters in diameter and each bucket can carry 15 cubic meters of soil. So there's 18 buckets on each one of these wheels. This machine with this wheel can remove 218 tons of soil per day. That's equivalent to 96 Olympic sized swimming pools. So this machine takes 10 years to build, costs $100 million, takes five people to operate it, and it stands 96 meters tall. That is 315 feet. It's around 225 meters long. That's about the equivalent of two full-size football fields. And it weighs 14,200 tonnes. So please put your hands together and meet the bagger 291. Now when I did the B-roll yesterday, uh, a little bit mixed weather, but it was a clear day. And I don't know what to say. I mean, this is truly impressive. Maybe sad because obviously the wildlife and the trees, the forests have all been taken away just to mine coal. Uh, it's actually a low grade coal, what they call a brown coal. and. Uh, yeah, when we look at coal, uh, it's it's the, the, the world's poorest coal you can actually find. So it's not very good. It's more like a little bit of a peat. But as you can see, Germany is obviously having an energy crisis at the minute and they need the coal. The good news is they are going to turn this landscape or this massive hole into uh, there's going to be a lake there's forests there's going to be all the apartments and everything so hopefully in another five ten years time or whatever it's going to be they're going to take water from the river rhine via it says a pipeline but on the illustrations it shows a canal and fill some of this area with a 40 kilometer square lake so it will be a boating lake a fishing lake you know, there will be some good what will come out of this disruption, I'll call it. Uh, and as you can see here, 
like I say, it's a nice viewing platform. I think there's about four or five of these scattered around. We've got a cafe, restaurant, bar. And you can see some of the illustrations here. So this is roughly what we're looking at. And this is what we're going to get. So, uh, so yeah, they're going to... This is the town just behind us here. So we're probably on the edge of the lake just here. And you can see this is what they're actually planning. And this is the Rhine River. So like I said, I don't know whether this is going to be some sort of a canal. I don't really know. Show the river there again. And so on. I don't know how many bagger machines we have got. Uh, there's certainly a couple down there, a couple over there, and the one what I filmed yesterday is over there. Now, the drone can fly around about, I think about 38 kilometers an hour. And uh, I tried flying out to that one there, and after about four or five minutes, I got fed up and turned around and come over to this one. That's how big this area is I'd like to show you you know some small machines underneath you know like dumper trucks and that but they're that small you cannot see them right something a little bit different uh, we wasn't too far from this area so I said to Ellen we've got to call and see this uh, it may be a once in a lifetime thing to see it's certainly not going to be here forever we are pushing further south we are pushing down into france before cutting across into germany so listen give us a thumb up give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this one a little bit different and until next time thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next adventure <laughs>